Привет, Кумбрек, сбор сайта. So, uh, today I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a fix with regards to the TAA anti-lazing. Now, fair enough, most of you would use TFXAA or FXAA or even the SMAA for the anti-lazing. But for you select few that prefer TAA but find it to be a tad blurry within squad, this fix should uh, help sharpen up the image a bit. Um, just make it look better, man, a little bit clearer. It helps me spot targets at range. Um, well, at least I find it. It helps me more than <laughs> FXAA, the, even the TFXAA. Those are a little bit blurry on my side. So, yeah, I run the TAA and I run it modified. Okay, now, before we begin, you need to make sure that you have your settings to show hidden files and folders. By default, Windows hides the app data folder, which you need to access to obviously gain access to the squad and then the INI file. Right, first of all, you're either going to hit the Windows key on your keyboard or you're going to click on the Windows button, bottom left hand corner of your screen. Proceed by typing in CON, this will bring up the control panel, hit enter. The one you're looking for is File Explorer Options, booyah. Right, click on View. Now you're going to come down to show hidden files, folders and drives selected once, click apply, hit OK. Now you can either leave this window open so you can come back and revert to the hidden settings or if you're like anyone else on the planet and you don't give a fuck and you still want to be able to access those files, just close that shit. Right, we're going to go, um, first of all, make sure you have your code. Here is the code on screen. I'll have this linked in the description. You're just going to copy and paste it straight out of the description. Now, the original post, the Redditor who actually uh, brought this to the community's attention, I believe his name was Ice KK. He was using the value here of 0 0.22 or 25. I'm not sure which it was, um, to be honest, but I found that 0 0.16, um, yeah, I have a little bit of a, a better experience, <laughs> let's put it that way, for 0 0.16. Okay, um, right, make sure you copy the shit, just in the meantime. Okay, go to this PC, click on your C drive, you want to go to the users file. Make sure, once you are here, you choose your user profile, okay? You might be on a machine with multiple profiles, you won't find the squad uh, files within those profiles. Well, that's if the game wasn't shared with them. But anyways, click on gaming. Now you're going to come down to app data. This is the file which is hidden by default. As you can see, it's slightly transparentish grayed out, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Click on app data, then go to local. Right, scroll down till you see squad. Okay, now you see I've got squad and squad UAT. The UAT is the test branch. The normal squad is the base game, which everyone fucking has. Well, everyone has access to both, but not everyone installs both. Now, for this instance, we are just going to be modifying the base game's uh, properties, not the testing server. Oh, and um, yeah, one more thing. This also applies to Postscriptum. So, because it runs on the same engine, you can use the same fix to sort out Postscriptum too. Okay, click on squad, go to saved, config, windows no editor, you're looking for engine.ini. Alrighty, don't care about any of this text, I want you to scroll down to the bottom. Okay, throw your cursor in there, make sure you have a space between. Um, I haven't tried it without, but yeah, whenever it comes to this, I always like to keep a space. Alrighty, we're going to right click... Copy, Control V, paste that shit in there, hit File, Save. Simple as that, brah. Close the shit, close that, close. I don't want to save. Now, bear in mind, you might need to restart Steam. I have had shit where, um, after I applied the changes, um, I try to get back into the game, and then I have EAC bitching at me. Um, I'm assuming it's detecting properties within the INI file have changed. 
So yeah, a quick little restart of Steam and yeah, once you're in game, go to your graphics settings and enable TAA and yeah, bruh, you should be good to go. Um, there's not much more than that. Uh, yeah, just fucking let me know how it goes for you if you find it helps you or not. Um, it's helped me tremendously in my game fucking even runs slightly smoother now. But yeah, again, it's not for everyone, so... If you prefer not to use this, then fucking by all means, bruh, go and run your TFXAA or, you know, SMAA or FXAA. Sweet. Anyways, guys, I'll check you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and have a good one. Cheers, man.